I have not refrained my lips. I have not shattered my lips. Wherever I am needed to open my lips and speak of your righteousness, speak of the gospel, speak of the word of God, I was always ready to open my lips. Amen. Amen. The way to, to know that you are ashamed of the gospel is when you cannot open your lips and share the gospel. That is when you know that you are ashamed of the gospel. And you know shame comes because of fear in most cases. When you are afraid to share the gospel unto the kings, when you are afraid to share the gospel unto your wife, when you are afraid to share the gospel unto your friends and neighbors, you know what? That one makes you to shut up. It makes you never to speak. It makes you never to share. Because the gospel is, you know, expected to be shared unto the people through you as a preacher. The Bible says they can't even believe on the name of Jesus Christ whom they have not heard. Whom, you know, they cannot even call on him because they, nobody has spoken unto them concerning Christ Jesus. And how can they even come to a point of believing Jesus Christ without a preacher? So tell me, brother, sister, if all preachers were ashamed and, you know, their mouth was shattered, who will preach the gospel unto this world that is unsaved? You need to be like David. You need to be like Paul. Who says I am not ashamed of speaking about the gospel? I'm not ashamed because of this gospel. Amen. For it is the power of God unto them that believe it.